Whether it's reading with our kids, making sure their homework gets done, or attending those parent-teacher conferences, parents play a critical role in helping our kids succeed in school. So this year, let's do our best so our kids can do their best. It is day one of Education Nation here at NBC News, where all week long we'll be raising your awareness about the state of education in our country. Today we begin with basic skills. We all know reading, writing, and arithmetic are essential to success, both in school and in life. But what many people don't know is how to help your struggling student. Sarah Picard-Taylor is a staff developer with the Teachers College Reading and Writing Project at Columbia University. And Joseph Almeida is a sixth grade math teacher at the KIPP Infinity Charter School. Right here in New York City, and we're delighted to have you both really? here today. Thanks. I mean, you hear us. those numbers we were talking about today where it says a child drops out of school every 11 seconds. I mean, if you think about right now, and then 10 more, you know, I mean, you just can't believe that that's happening. What, what's the essential issue or problem, do you guys think? Well, I think one thing that we all need to think about is partnering together. Yeah. Parents, teachers, administrators, community advocates, so that 11 seconds doesn't doesn't happen anymore. I think we all need to come together. I have a friend, and won't name uh, names at all, whose daughter just did drop out of high school mm -hmm. uh, to go at night for, mm -hmm. from 7 to 9 because she was bored out of her mind at school mm -hmm. all day long and, and probably getting into some trouble as a result mm -hmm. of that. Why are the kids so bored? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The content needs to be stimulating for students and if the content isn't stimulating and the teacher doesn't know how to make the connections for the students I think that's where the boredom comes in so knowing how, what your students interests are is a very important yeah, yeah. sometimes I think that, that parents say like my kid just doesn't like it when in fact we haven't really asked them what are you interested in reading do you love dinosaurs let's get you some dinosaur sure. books well you yes. hear how successful the KIPP Academy schools are across the country and a lot of them deal with lower income kids and you found a way to tap into especially the math portion and sometimes that's difficult to get kids interested in math. Sure was for me. Yeah. <laughs> Never did yeah. happen. How are you doing it? So one of the things that makes um, math at KIPP a lot of fun is that we incorporate a lot of songs into our curriculum. Um, one of the things that I'm more interested in is helping kids to understand the basic parts of mathematics. Because if the kids don't have that one-to-one -one correspondence um, where, where they're counting objects, or mm -hmm. if the kids don't really understand how to do a certain computation, then they're not going to be set up for they're success out. if they can't add, subtract, multiply, or divide. But aren't we passing children who should not be passed yeah. and just, I mean, making it so so much more difficult along the line. Somewhere or another, somebody's got to say, you haven't learned the material, you can't go forward. Why yeah, are we, we letting kids we keep passing? Well, I think there's a couple of things that, you know, parents want to keep in mind. When they see their child struggling, you know, go go to school, get involved, and know who the players are before it's that important. happens. Know your child's teacher, go to curriculum night, so that the lines of communication are strong from the beginning. And so, so that your child when, sees, well, I guess when your child sees you and the teacher together, right. they say, well, this She's is She's on to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But surprised. they also get so discouraged if it isn't done quickly, you know, mm -hmm. they, then it's a snowball effect, and then right. they give up. It's right. the d despair of it. We've got a couple of parents. We have Carol who's just in our studio from Chicago, was out in the rain and came in to ask a question. Hi, Carol. Hey, Carol. Hi. I'm Carol from Illinois. Uh -huh. And my question is, how do we keep our students engaged in math and science so that they can uh, pursue careers in those fields as adults. Yeah, I can see that's sure. tough to keep them interested. It, yeah. Sometimes it's not fun. So I, I think one of the things that makes kids turn off to mathematics is hearing from their parents um, that I wasn't good at mathematics myself. Um, so I think having a positive attitude with learning is really important. The other thing is uh, in the classroom I have a hip-hop institute that I conduct in which I'm, I'm teaching the kids mathematics. So we're, we're building the, the excitement there and teaching them that it's not just about numbers mm -hmm. and But not paper. every kid is supposed to be a mathematician. Isn't that true as well? Can't sure, we so be teaching our children more to their own strengths yes. earlier on in their mm -hmm. own lives? so that we find out what they well, love and then we help them become great yeah, at that. I think that's one really important tool is strengthening their strengths. So if mm -hmm. you see that a child really loves building, you know, show them the career paths yeah. that are on that track. They love to build, they want to be an architect, right. they're going to need to know right. math. That's, yes. Yeah, I think that's... But it's also about giving them the, those problem solving skills early. Um, to get them to sort through it. Why you're there, baby. Yeah. Yes. You That's guys. my problem. I never had hip hop in <laughs> You guys, you guys are doing great work. We can't thank you enough so for coming much. on our show. Such a tough Hi to your mom, subject. too. And love day. to your mom in Wisconsin. <laughs> Up next, the iCarly star who's about to educate us. We love this oh, kid. This is that kid. About healthy lunches for your kids. Right oh, after yeah, this. I remember he him. is adorable.